Zeit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Jesse, you know what I want to talk about today? I want to this talk. Pain, and this pains me to tell you to wrap it up, Mr. Patterson. Hmm? Wrap it up. <laughs> oh. oh. I hate, to, I really hate to tell you to do wow. this, but. You, you just gave me the Brad Pitt. Wrap it up, Mr. Patterson. I mean, who, should we. Should Come on talk? into that mic, baby. Should we talk about Janice? Yeah, let's talk about Janice. What are you talking about? Me coming into the mic? Yeah, you've been you've been going back and forth lately. It's fine. Yeah, all right. It's fine. You you you're a sound engineer. You're our whole world oh, over there, so we can hear you. It's been totally fine. Cuz you're pulling a Jared on us here the last Am couple I? days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, oh, that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> that's all you have to say to me to make me change my behavior. Anyway. No, the funny thing is so what you're referring to, you haven't seen this clip. I Stop. died laughing. It was the, one of the greatest things of all time. Brad Pitt goes into, what was it, the L.A. City Council or something like yeah, that? Yeah, to talk about giving more funding, funding to... Funding to a museum. Museums, which you know I hate. Yeah. Let them go. Yeah. <laughs> Let them go. We are good. Moving on. Making new memories. Yeah. Here, <laughs> look, here's what I'm going to say about that. Real, <laughs> Just real quick at the top. We do not agree. <laughs> Is that what you want to say? We do not agree. No, we do. I... <laughs> I, here's where I'm at in today's society, right? Give the money to teachers. Yes. Give the money to firefighters, the yes. police departments. Um, give them to... <laughs> Have Brad Pitt be up there talking about that. Yeah. Children's hospitals. I, look, Brad Pitt does enough for the world and it's fine. So I don't want to come down on Brad Pitt. But if you're going to just raise money for anything in today's world, can we just keep it limited to maybe police, firemen... Again, children, education, teachers, parks. <laughs> yeah. You know, places where you can uh, places use... where children go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't a museum. Uh, look, man, I, you're fine on all that. You can. Brad Pitt is rich enough. He, if he wants, he can rent out a, a Venice warehouse, store all that. Or you can, can go down donate and donate what he's asking, and that and that's 100%. what a lot of museums use is donations from wealthy people, right? Right. Because because it's a hard ask. It's a hard ask. And it's, it's a hard ask. But the, the beauty of this yesterday was, you know, you have these board members or, or council members, council men, council women, whatever you want to call it, that sit on these boards and they're forced every day to hear these stories from the mm. city and that's, you know, mandatory or what, whatever it is nobodies, on Fridays. These nobodies coming in and asking for money, Well, right? like the McRib girl. Like that's right. what you usually get or you get. Uh, no, that was like a good day. It was. So they were right. entertained. But usually it's just. So Boring. on my street, yeah. we have a, you know, we have and three. We, are, we have three potholes. I called Domino's during the right. time that they said they were fixing potholes. They're not fixing potholes anymore. I need eighty nine dollars to fix my potholes. Now I have a lawsuit against Domino's for their false advertising and i am asking you and so they had a good day right so today they had or the other day whatever they had a good day when mr pitt brad pitt yeah oh, and janice 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 is the gal's name the council woman she looked like some kind of chair chairman right yeah the whole thing. and you know look for janice oh, she's used to seeing janice these Hans. boring lifeless people oh. every single day Brad Pitt rolls in for the day to ask for stuff, and it she just got caught uh, up. Oh, she oh, oh. she went full I blown mean, Janice. Oh, she couldn't contain herself, <laughs> and you know I can't, I can't blame her. Right at first, I go, "Come on, Janice, like pull it together." Because no. what it seemed like, what I loved was probably some woman said something, and she's like, "Shut the fuck up, Susan, Brad, Brad." Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so sorry, honey. I have to tell you to stop. <laughs> So it was like so obvious. She had kind of like got nervous and oh. fixed her hair. Yeah, and, and she's like, 
wrap it up, Mr. Pitt. <laughs> it was a cute moment because you, you it could was, tell and I loved it. that could have been anybody's mom out oh. there that was, you know, oh. uh, Brad Pitt walks in and wants to talk to you because they give you a certain allot- allotted time to speak about whatever your cause is or whatever your thing is. And like right. his time had run out. There's a, a yeah. clock on the, the yeah. desk and all that stuff. And like. You could tell she she could have stared Ugh. at him reading the phone book he all said day. First, I'm running out of time. Yeah, and she he was goes, polite. yeah, yeah. Like she wasn't gonna say anything. No, he kind of brought it up, <laughs> and she was like, yeah, it, it pains me to say, wrap it up, Mister Pitt. And she was just, I mean, again, could not contain herself. And I get it. So do You've I. said that you saw him in person. Yeah. I have, yeah, I yeah. don't have the pleasure. And then you and I got into a conversation about like, if it was Brad Pitt and not Benicio, then I would like, get it. Yes. I, I would hundred hundred percent get it. Cause I saw him yesterday. That city council thing. Oh. God bless him. He look, he, he, I'm a, obviously a straight man. We're married. We have children together, but we don't know I what you're doing for the second half, but yeah. I, I think if we were going to have the same celebrity bang pass, it would probably be Brad Pitt. Right. For both of us. Right. Like if we had to share one and come together and say, hey, have a mediation of like, hey guys, we really need you yeah. to put this. <laughs> what do we say? Okay. Say your celebrity <laughs> bang pass. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Oh my God. <laughs> Did we just become uh, better lovers and best friends? best friends and marriage partners? Yeah. Um, but alas, yeah, I, he doesn't completely do it for me I where I would, believe that. It, I would be like, it pains me to tell you, Mr. Del Toro. Right? Oh God. The bull. Yeah. What, <laughs> what would he be saying? He would go oh, up. He wouldn't even come in. That's he, would, what. he would go up to the, uh, the city council lady and just be like, Hey, uh, uh, just, 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 sir. Just, just give me, just, just, just give me some, um, just, just give be, me some more. Uh, sm- yeah, f- f- have a toothpick like in. Picking, or you don't know what he's. He did in this scene where he's just like keeps picking this hair that he doesn't have. Yeah, yeah. Over and over, and it was just a thing that he <laughs> chose in that moment, right? And I was so transfixed. Yeah, I was just like, "What are you doing? Get the hair!" Yeah. Get yeah. the hair out, yeah. right? It was like that. So he you would just do a lot keys, of that. Give me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. What the fuck? Right. Just give me the money for the fucking thing. What he the would fuck? just do a lot of those things that would be distracting. and Maybe um, not. Who knows? Maybe not. But again, I, you know I have not seen... Brad Pitt in real life. In real life. And so... And I have seen Benick. So it's like... Right, right, right. You know what I mean? I don't have a comparison. I know Benicchio, it was like... Benicchio del Toro, yeah. Do whatever you want. Right? And sure. you were saying with Brad Pitt, it's like you started gravitating Oof. towards it. He's just such a presence. And I get that, dude. Janice, so I'm with you. Here, here's where I, I met him. Um, well, not, I didn't really like meet meet him. Um, cause it, Wrap it up, though. Don't make it long. I'm not going Go to. Ahead. I'm not going. Why? Why? I'm sorry, but I, you have to wrap it up. Oh, sorry, Mr. Pitt. Yeah, sorry, did. Mr. Pitt. Why? I want to I want to keep telling you about my art funding. No, but uh, so I, I there was a David Fincher movie. I was in L.A. early on in my career, obviously. It was right after The New Guy, and they were kind of sending you out to premieres to, like, just do a red carpet picture that you're out and about. And, you know, oh, I've got this thing coming on. It's great, right? And you do these interviews with people who really don't care until you're super, you know, Mm -hmm. more famous or whatever so it's like Mm -hmm. before a movie comes out or whatever so my my best friend uh tristan Mm -hmm. um from college is in was you know diehard brad pitt fan all that other stuff brad pitt made his name cooler uh because look he grew up with the name tristan before legends of the fall came out okay so it was a it was a hard time of being teased and all that stuff boom Legends of the Fall comes out. That name sure. Tristan overnight skyrockets to, and he's a good looking dude. So like skyrocket him to the top of the, the, the charts in high school and all that shit. And he was just like, welcome mm. to the new world, you know? Mm-hmm. So he, he, he kind of knows Brad Pitt a lot, right? Big Brad Pitt fan. Don't we all, but yeah. My publicist was like, hey, so there, there's the David Fincher thing or whatever. And I was like, oh, I heard him and Brad Pitt are, are like best friends. I was like, do you think he'll be there? She was like, yeah, he's, he actually is going to be there. I was like, oh, my God, so I'll, I'll go to that. Like, I'll go to that. Sign me up for that, right? Right. And I you usually get a plus one. I took Tristan as my plus one so he could see him, you know? Nice. Yeah, totally. And I was just like, hey, man, Brad Pitt's going to be at this thing. Like, we finally get to see him or whatever, right? Right. right. 
So we watch this movie and I see him walk in, but he walks, he doesn't walk in until like right when the lights go down. So I don't really get to see him, but he's only sitting a couple rows ahead of me right. Right, throughout this thing. I don't, I don't even remember what the movie was. I was so caught up in watching Brad Pitt. You ever have celebrities come in and sit down by you at a dinner or a movie and you kind of oh, consumes my whole <laughs> yeah. uh, periph, if you will, like your periph is how you look, how you're acting. If they yeah, all of it, yeah. all of it, all yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I was consumed by that. I don't even remember what movie it was. And this was in his like seven years to Tibet face. So he had that huge beard. Okay. Do you remember when he had okay. that, that huge? And I was fine with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. oh, Jesus. Yeah. Because it was a real beard. It was a gigantic oh, real yeah. beard. And I was like, man. Um, so afterwards, right, the movie ends and then you get up. You have to leave. Well, mm -hmm. I waited for him to get up, you know. And so that like when he walked by, maybe I could walk by side by side. Kind of like, cut right in front. Well, I'll just kind of be like, oh, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Sure. You know, nice to meet you, whatever, right? right blah, blah, blah. Right, and like, right, right. Uh, so I get up and like. Uh, Take a Jan of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. Sure. Didn't have a real clear cut game Again, plan. In that moment, you this. were Janice. Yeah, I was Janice. We are I was all, full blown Janice. We are all Janice Han. I was, I was full totally blown Janice, Janice in that moment. And uh, so I get up and, you know, the, the natural line of progression to get out of a movie theater is up the stairs, you know, sure. up the aisles or whatever. Sure. Right. Well, he doesn't he doesn't start to move up there. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to. I'm going to look for my watch on the floor or popcorn or something, you know, like just pretend What's something on the doing? floor. He was waiting for David Fincher because he, he wanted to talk to Fincher. Obviously, that was his so best friend. So he was Janice friend. for Fincher. No, they're friends. They're friends. They're, oh, they're, they're besties in real never life, mind. I guess. So the, anyways, they are, ha are having this conversation and like some other people start to, to kind of mingle over towards that way, you know, whatever. And I was like, ah, I, there was something when the lights came on and I saw him. I felt like I knew him and I got trapped in the Janet, like full blown Janice mm -hmm. mode. So like me, me and Tristan just slowly started walking to him. Oh, God. Like, yeah, like we were just like, trapped um, of like, oh, we're right, all. Like a light was pulling yeah, you Yeah, we're in. all friends. And like, right, I right. would say maybe about like three feet before I got in front of him. Like I, I caught myself. Like I got, yeah, like, I knew oh, I, wait, I got I caught up in the moment. Person, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was super caught up in the moment. I was like, oh my God, we're not friends. I don't know what I would say to him. And so I turned to Tristan and I was like, oh, you ready to go? Yeah. Like that's all I could do at that point. And uh, we walked out and uh, I saw him briefly like later on. But I, here's all the things that I will say about Brad Pitt. Um, one, he is as good looking in real life as he is when you see him on TV. Absolutely. Some people are totally different. Like I remember the first time I met DiCaprio, he has a gigantic basketball head that is really Hard to sure, describe, bodily, yeah. but it's great for movie screens. Dead serious. It, sure. it, it's a weird thing. If you have a gigantic head, Javier Bardem's another one who is a gigantic dome, but it plays really well on a movie screen for it some reason. It makes you like large. It, it, yeah. It makes it, you it like does. a character looking. Yeah. 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 And, and it, by the way, in case you think I'm knocking like DiCaprio, I'm not for me personally. Like I look good on, on movies, but it's gotta be full blown makeup and all that other shit. I'm terrible at taking photographs, mm. horrible at taking photographs across the board. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what to do with my arms or how to smile correctly. Like, I'm just fucking terrible at it. Sure. Great in movies. Got it. Not in photos. Uh, but Brad Pitt, taller also. Taller than you expect. Where I was like, oh, I see him and he kind of looks like a little daintier man. Little you know, Ad I, I was Adam expecting Levine a guy. prince. Yeah. 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 Like a prince, uh, Adam Levine type of dude. No, he was a good... Mm -hmm. He he was a good 5'11", I feel like. And for a guy like that, that's surprising. And he, yeah. had, some, he had some cowboy boots on. And that, so that puts you six foot. Bumped him up six yeah, feet, six yeah, one. And yeah. I was just like, oh, because I'm 6'3". You know, and again, I'm so close to him. I'm almost eye level with him. And I'm right. like, oh, like, oh, okay. I'm only a little taller than him. Sure. And everybody he came up to was just that, that guy you see on screen where you're just like, oh, man. Or in these interviews where you're like, hey. Nice to, so yeah, cool. just so cool like, where you were yeah. like, he was that cool to everyone. And it was just like, man, I will never be that cool in my life. Sure. You know, sure. Um, and everything about Brad Pitt is magic. It really is. <laughs> so to Janice out there, 
calm I down, Janice. I know. No, Janice, you don't have to calm down. I, no, I'm talking to you. I understand. <laughs> I understand it. And I want everybody else out there to understand it. Right. That's what Janice was going through. Mm-hmm. I went through it. Mm-hmm. Everyone goes through it. Yep. Um, if you have the, the pleasure, the privilege of... Of being um, even Around, anywhere close in the vicinity, in the of, Brad vicinity Pitt, of Brad Pitt, you will understand you will the magic. Janice out. Yes, you will Don't understand the magic of Brad yeah. Pitt. Yeah, and he's what would you you said, Daddy? You know he is. He's got to be what he, 50, he's 50, 50? maybe older. Yeah, you know. No way to look that up, but um, Daddy, yeah, yes, and no. Like, what's your age range for Daddy? I mean. Daddy, you have to be at least 50. Otherwise, you're just close enough. You know, like you're just... Close enough to be... So he's 55. Yeah, so he's daddy. 55? He's daddy. Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd was 50. He just turned 50 the other day. The guy, look at his photos. He hasn't aged in 30 he years. He hasn't aged. He's a vampire. He's, that guy's a vampire. So yeah, da- yeah, Brad Pitt, 55. That's a, that's a father. My mom is only 61. It's weird though when it's hard because, like in I can't Thelma see him Louise, dating my mom. No, that's weird. Right, and like, <laughs> we grew up. I grew up liking him in a way that I felt like that was just could be my boyfriend. Right, right. So, dad, I don't know where. Whereas Kurt Russell was always dad level. Right, right. right. So he's daddy. Uh huh. Whereas Brad Pitt turned into de- it's uh, i don't know no, that's that's a murky one he's a that's a murky one yeah i want to talk about one of your other daddies though oh please oh, i'm so stoked about this oh please uh the trivago guy uh whom you him and, Vanick. him and Vanick are just toe yep. to toe he got a he got popped for a, a dui and uh, you, oh, you don't seem surprised by that. Oh no! I mean, I, how? Which one is this? Third, fourth? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> this- he's got. He's <laughs> definitely gotten a couple, and that's kind of the vibe I get from him, which I love. <laughs> um, he's been. It looked like he was maybe drunk on a couple of those shoots, the Travago shoots. Well, look. Here's the weird thing. When I saw his mug shot. It looked no different than the commercial. It looked like he was ready to go shoot yep. uh, shoot a commercial in twenty minutes, and I was yep. like, "All right, cool. So you're just you're just the dirty Travago guy. Like that's real." Yeah. That, Where like I don't even know if Homeboy wears makeup or anything for those commercials. He just rolls in. He just rolls in. I think in <laughs> one, it's like the shirt was half untucked. To it's very yeah. That's exactly how he looked. What it looks like is they did a call, casting call, mm-hmm. wear a suit, dress nice, and he kind of came in. That was his idea of like dressing or maybe nice, it wasn't. where it was like a wrinkled shirt, right? Maybe, Hair disheveled, maybe not. Maybe he was on a bender and he just showed up at the audition and was and like, that, oh shit, I got this audition. That's always what it seemed like. And they loved fuck. it. And Travago was smart enough because are we talking about it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> And Travago was smart enough to go, that guy. Yeah. Think he's going to strike a chord? No, I, you bet he with is. With people? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Travago got a DUI. Again, we don't know. I mean, his blood alcohol level was, a, I, I'm going to guess, a 2.5. I don't. They won't maybe release higher. that, but I'm going to tell you, higher, wow. I'm, I'd say higher. 2.5 is pretty high. He's a guy I feel like you can't tell how wasted he might have gotten because his everyday appearance you know how and like sort of a he, little people, whiskey drunk women have a resting bitch face right sure the, he's got a resting drunk face where it's just mm-hmm. like oh you look like you're drunk all the time like yep. are you or yep. and i have friends like that who always look high yeah even though they're not well, yeah even though they they're are, stoned and i'm yeah. just like no i have friends that are definitely not smoking weed and they're they always look high and i'm like man yeah you always look high and it's just like, oh, that's my eyes. You know, Travago guy just yeah. looks like a full blown alcoholic all oh. the time. And God, it, I love like, him. you know, nothing wrong with it. I mean, Only until, until you get popped, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Only thing that would until make him law. more appealing is if he was a drummer. Ugh, you know, really? so if he's a drummer, you, alcoholic, disheveled, you in a dirty. Uh, no. Okay. I mean, every girl is, but they shouldn't be. You know right, what I'm right, saying? That's right. the guy that's like the worst, the biggest asshole the, the worst in human. every band. Sure. 
is the drummer. Right. So it's famously like, oh, emotionally unavailable, drummer, alcoholic, mm. give mm. them to me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He- you bring them my way. <laughs> um, so I, I'm learning, you know, I've yeah. learned. Yeah. I've learned. <laughs> what I'm surprised is the Trivago guy, he knows where to get a hotel, you know? Sure. He probably has instead of drive around. Yeah. Yep. God, you know, if anyone gets a DUI these days, it's sort of like really. Yeah. I mean, with Uber and everything. No, there's all there's all so- nights where you drive out and you're like, man, did I? You know, you go to somebody's somebody's uh, place of work or or uh, over to their house unexpectedly, and and, sure. they're, and they're boozing at like five, and they're like, oh hey, why don't you have one? And you're sure. like, ah, all right, cool. I'll just have a couple, and then you know. You get popped and you're like, oh, fuck. What the, what the, what the shit, man? Right. No, um, you're right. If you're going on a hard night out and you know it, that's a different story. Exactly. But if you pop over to somebody's house or whatever, like I was, a, I had a lunch meeting in, in LA and I, I, for whatever reason, I, for, I forgot what every single other lunch meeting was like in LA. Yeah. And dude, there was, everybody was boozing at like two o'clock at this lunch meeting. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's right. All right, cool. Mm-hmm. Then I, I had a car because I had to get in a car on the way home. Right. And I was like, how many did I have? I feel like I was under. I feel like right. I was under. So but did Trivago, I bet. So did the Trivago guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He thought, he also <laughs> probably thought, you know, I'm Trivago guy. They're not yeah. going to take me in, right? <laughs> He's probably got that little chip on his shoulder these days because super famous. Yeah, of course. Of course. You want to talk about super famous, uh, Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. It was his, his funeral yesterday. God. And I, man, it was, it was at Staples Center. And packed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, there was, I think they said over 12,000 people that yeah. were there. I mean, insane. Um, I remember him rapping on a Frank Ocean song he said he, when he dies, he said, Stevie Wonder is going to be singing at my funeral. Stevie Wonder actually did end up singing at his funeral. And it's just like, oh. yeah. The, the other irony about it was him and his wife were always at courtside at Lakers games all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, the fact that you're, you know, having a funeral inside Staples Center, yeah. the place you were always courtside with your wife. She came in like a boss yesterday. That, that Laura London. Mm-hmm. Laura How London. do you mean? Um, just her her speech and the Composure, way she carried herself. Yeah. yeah, was was you know very like like a boss bitch. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. you know, like hey, this happened, but I'm I'm gonna move on, and here's mm-hmm. what I'm going through, and and everything else. It wasn't like a wailing, weeping. Like yeah, it was very you know controlled and and. Um, it was awesome to see. And the, uh, there was a shot of her because they also had a funeral procession then after that. Okay. Um, that went down and into like Crenshaw and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the Nipsey Hussle's thing was was this. And like she rolled down the windows of the, the limo and was doing this to the fans as they drove I mean, by. The most, come on. the saddest thing about it was, is, you know, I'd say you probably had two hours left in this thing or like, you know, one, one hour left before it was over. There was a shooting during it. One, Where? one person died at the funeral procession. At the funeral? Drive by, yeah. And so one person died. I think two or three people are in critical condition. You're just like, are you fucking kidding me? What is this from? What do you mean? I mean, what it no, targeted? I, no idea. They, they have, a, they, they have the, the suspect's car right now, but... Um, they need more information, but it, there the, were the people, people in the funeral that were targeted by. No, these are just fans like in a funeral procession coming outside oh. of their houses. The people that were shot were like aged 30 to 50, where it was just like you could tell it was just normal people who, you know, were mm-hmm. out paying their respects. And it was just like, are we, are we still doing this at his funeral? Um, and that sucked to read, you know, because that got blasted everywhere. And of course, the cops came and everything. And it was just like, just one day. Yeah. You can't just Can give, just give like this guy chill? one day. Yeah. Yeah. Beloved. Um, uh, yeah, a beloved dude. And uh, Snoop Dogg was there. He gave a speech. Mm-hmm. Um, man, there was, a, there was a lot of people there. Uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce were there. Like, I mean, people, people really came out. Um, <laughs> so weird about them. Like, and I was trying to think, because it, it was televised, you know, and streamed on a lot of networks and platforms uh, for free. Uh, everybody has kind of just broken in and, and televised this thing. And I was trying to think of when the, the last time there was a funeral at Staples Center because 
you know, we've lived there for, for a gajillion years. And I was like, I, th- I think it was Michael Jackson. Was it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was the last one, but it's the last one I remember at Staples Center and that huge procession. Like yeah, that yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 I, I think it was Staples Center um, for, for Michael Jackson's funeral. And I was just like, shit. Um, you know, because look, to get that many people in and out of there and all that stuff, like security money, everything else, like um, uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool to see. Yeah. So, uh, and Le- LeBron did a, a great thing by not making the playoffs. So that Staples Center was open. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thanks. That, is it weird? That was the first one of the first thoughts that went through my mind was because it's the NBA playoffs. And I was like, is there not a game tonight? Or yeah. And I was like, oh, there's not. There's definitely not, not a game. A game. Yeah. The Clippers, though, the L.A. Clippers actually did make the playoffs. Sure. So, but they're on. They're starting on the road first rather than at home. Yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, crazy, crazy to see, uh, was not aware, you know, truly how beloved, like yeah. until that, I mean, you don't have a, you don't have a funeral in Staples for Christ's sakes. Uh, the other thing that, that's, that was the, one of the top stories yesterday was, uh, Disney plus finally got unveiled. Jabes, Ugh. how fast are, is, is every, <laughs> how fast is every family going to be all in on this? If you're, oh, if you God. have kids. God, I mean, even just that dashboard, the interface, I mean, it's, it's, it's everything. Yeah. It looks amazing. It's got everything that your, you know, your, your children are brainwashed by and all in neat little categories, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Marvel, Disney, Disney, Disney Pixar, stock right? Yeah. shot up um, <laughs> through the roof. And, Jesus. Because uh, they didn't really, like, I think it was supposed to happen at the end of last year, building a streaming service is extremely difficult even for these big companies I'm even sure. like a disney i'm sure because you have to get it right if you fail it's like you know pied piper on uh oh Silicon for sure Valley. If they try and click on something it's not yeah 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 it's not working they're yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah. crushed right yeah so you know they they had the unveiling and um there's gonna be a marvel category pixar um there's star wars Straight up Disney. Like, like apps yeah. inside the, the mm-hmm. Disney thing. They're going to bundle uh, ESPN Plus, which has now bought all of the UFC fights. Like, that's amazing. I watched Plus um, when I was out in LA to watch the fights. So I was yeah. like, man. Uh, so they're going to bundle that with Hulu. And again, just going through the screens, if you have children, the, what I kept thinking at that presentation when I was going to watch, and it's only six ninety nine a month. Or you can buy one year for sixty nine ninety nine, and that'll shave off two months. Come on, man! I, I, all I kept thinking was when I was watching that, and all of these apps popped up with all, and they, you know, five hundred movies and all that stuff with Marvel and Star Wars and, and Pixar and everything, and uh, and Disney, obviously Disney yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I kept thinking was, this is one channel that you can tell your kids to watch, and you really don't have to worry about what the content is, and yeah, you know as a as parents of younger children we have that now where it's just like you know the kid wants to watch youtube and it's like no watch youtube kids yeah and even youtube you know even that kind of thing you can infiltrate some weird shit as you know um but with this you could literally just say watch whatever you want on yeah watch whatever you want and our you know five-year-old now knows if it's on you know netflix youtube he knows all those different platforms like i'll ask him a movie and he'll be like oh that's netflix and i'm like who the fuck yeah yeah didn't you say he had a little buddy over who just bought something off of amazon prime one of the gals (laughs) one of the more savvy gals that he hangs out with tech girls a little a little um (laughs) she's five She's five. And was she's able a nanny. To, she's a nanny kid, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So she was able to buy. So she goes, Oh, he wanted to watch this movie, so I just bought it. And I was all, huh? <laughs> and you don't I don't get mad because it's someone else's kid at my house, right? right? But I close the door and I'm just like, What the <coughs> fuck? What else are you buying? I boxes show up at my front door, right? What else did he want, honey, that you bought him? How did she fit you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And you know you hear those stories all the time. Of you like, do, and you're like, of the oh, kid just kept pressing the button on the app. That'll never happen yeah. to me. And then boom, it did. And boom. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. What? What? It's always gonna be a gal. 
So Why is that? Be a gal that are they, shows are, are him. younger girls just smarter than boys? Oh yeah. Is that so that's true? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know. They start doing all the things quicker. Mm. You know, walking, talking. You know, all these things. They, right. And they want to be more independent. So going to the bathroom, potty training. You girls want to do it for themselves more. Uh huh. So they start doing things for themselves more. Whereas a boy, if you let him. You could probably keep changing his diaper till he's twelve. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if he, if you do it, I'd love it. He would just lift the leg up, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, so you can, as far as boys, you can shape them and make them as, you know, independent or not independent or as yeah. you want. Which, you know, we have friends like that too, where it's like, hey, with with boys, they kind of go where you. T- the, the direction that you take them with girls. They're like, give me the thing. I'm going to learn how to do it. And, and you know, are smart. I'm going to be real with you, James. Sure. If I had the option as an adult man, you know, go, to what? go ahead and change my diaper. No. Yep. 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 Like if, oh. if you started a society like that, right? You just started out your society. So let's say there was a hard cut, like right in society where it was just sure. like, Hey, we're going to start doing this. Uh huh. And everybody, you were like, what? Mm-hmm. You, could, you could wipe, you could just snap your fingers and wipe it. Wipe everybody's memory. And then you oh, start okay. over. But <laughs> like, all, the, all the men had made us like a pact, mm-hmm. you know, of like, hey, so here's what we're going to do. Right. We don't ever want to get up to use the bathroom. We're going to wear diapers forever. Okay. You guys already have that going on. <laughs> it's not with the diaper, but you definitely have a pact with certain things. With Like what? Trash in the bathroom. Um, changing of toilet paper, ah. like random things where for, I just hear the same like, taking out the trash, right? I take out the trash. Right. Yeah. You do. Yeah. When I tell you, you do it. So, <laughs> um, it's all these things that you keep hearing from, and I'm sure it's the other way. You know, you, yeah. you guys have all the yeah. same complaints. You go around the circle and everyone has the same exact complaint, right? Right. Same with women. Um, but it is interesting that girls are more independent and smarter, faster. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to gauge it, but again, yeah, you're right. If, if men could do it forever and just be wiped, that would be great. They absolutely would. So the humility thing, the humility thing doesn't kick in till later where it's like girls don't want you to like wipe their butt. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That to them is like, uh, I want to do it. Do you think it's because you're a female and they're a female that it's like, hey, we're good on this or? What do you mean? With as little far girls. As like, yeah. Like wanting to be more independent where it's just like, hey, I want to do what mom's doing like mom's doing. So I'm going to do what she's doing. And just if she goes, you know, to bathroom or private, I want to do that. I want to do this. Kind or, of, I think. Okay. But um, as I always wondered, because, you know, we got lucky. We got real lucky. Two boys. Boom. Boom. Didn't have to deal with the girls. You're, you were nodding your head, but you're. Oh, I'm, fa- I'm famously pretty vocal about that where I'm just really glad I have boys just because I don't know if I could handle it. I know I could, you know, I know I could, and I know I could handle a girl. Okay. If something happened. Could you though? Look. I didn't think I could handle kids at all. Even no. when I was pregnant, I'm like, how am I going to even do this? I don't even like holding other people's babies. While I'm pregnant, I'm yeah. like, dude, I've never even been like, oh, give me that baby. I didn't even like them. Yeah. Didn't like <laughs> kids at all. Pregnant. Going to have my own. And you just go like, what the fuck am I going to do? And as soon as you have the kid, it just clicks in. Whatever it is, the feeling that you know, you know exactly what to do. So fucking crazy, right? Yeah. So yeah, could I do it? Would it click in? Yes. Am I glad I don't have to? Yes, very. Oh, look, there's a lot of things that that, that are crazy when you're pregnant or having babies, you know? Uh, Jay Cutler was the craziest shit I read this morning. And I was like, what? What happened there? Smoking, you know I love smoking Jay Cutler. Mm-hmm. How are you tying this into my comment? Uh, you, you, uh, you, so you didn't, you didn't read about this this morning. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and j- I'm going to jam this home for you. Okay. Kristen Cavallari, his wife mm-hmm. from the Hills. Who I kind of like now. 
Yeah, we'll, and we'll get to that. We'll talk. Okay. We'll talk okay. about that because okay. I, I do too. By the way, okay. um, she says that Jay Cutler unclogged her milk ducts by sucking harder than he's ever sucked on her tits. Is that a thing? Yeah, but gosh, ah. why are we talking about it? That's what I don't get. That's it a depends little. That's how, probably a little too much information. How? What? What are they talking about when she was pregnant or? Yeah, I, I oh, guess okay. when she was pregnant or right after, you know. Uh, so he was helping her out, or this was just he was helping her out. Yeah. Oh yeah. So she was like, "My milk duct ducks are clogged," oh, and he was like, cool. "Oh, I'll suck that out of the tit for you." That's, that's a real thing. Cool. Yeah, I mean, you could either use your pump. Oh, is that is that? I would never want you. By the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, I would find some machine or something else that could do it. <laughs> but hey, they are different people, yeah. right? And so, for some reason, that makes sense to me. Yeah, they were. Look, he he's not. He wasn't a Hall of Famer in his football career, but he's he might be one as as a father, you know, as a husband. So, way to go, Jay. We're yeah. all proud of you. We're really proud of you. We're all proud of you. He has always been consistently hilarious, and like she, because she doesn't. He doesn't give a shit about any of this stuff. Mm -mm. I don't think he cares about life. Like he's infamous for that's how the smoke and Jay Cutler thing oh, started. No, he does not. He's got that resting dick face where mm -hmm. it's just like, uh, he does. Not and everybody care. kept inserting cigarettes like into his mouth of like, he's just like, mm. yep. Smoke and Jay Cutler. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, with that, all of this shit that she does online and in social media, like the, this tit sucking thing, did you see the picture she took of him, uh, like just buck naked, staring at a ocean on some? They were on a, a vacation together. <laughs> it was from behind. And it was just his ass, and he was just like nude, nude, looking out at the ocean on whatever like private villa they had. And I was like, she posted it. Yeah. And like he didn't. He's like, eh, I don't care. I watched that show with you. What's the name of that? What's the name of her show? Very Cavalry. Very ca great title. What, great what title. Is, that on? is it on an e? What'd you e? say? I think it's E. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I watched yeah. that with you, and I was like, "How is how is Jay Cutler?" And he rolls in. It's fucking Jay Cutler, dude. It's Jay Cutler, and he he does not give a shit. He's like, "Huh?" All he right, doesn't cool. give a shit, and nor does he really have to. I mean, no. I think he gives a shit. He clearly gives a shit about his family and about her. Yeah. But whatever else, he's game, which I love. So he That's doesn't cool. care, but he's game for whatever. So it's like, hey, you want to do this? Or she'll be like, can you go check on the store? He's like, sure. I'll just tell him to fucking get to work and tell him they're all fired. You know what I mean? He doesn't yeah. fucking care. He'll go move the thing in there. She gets a llama. He fucking gets the, helps the llama out of the thing. <laughs> you know, he doesn't care. He's, they he's have a llama so helper. Much, no, they just have so much money. Yeah. And he doesn't care what, whatever she wants to do. Uh, it's true. He does, right? It's true. Yeah, I, I, I think Jay Cutler made close to two hundred million. Yeah, um, and she's no football. No, slouch. she's no slouch either. She's no slouch either. So because she was on the hills for the for all those years, and then the spinoff show, and then this. She, that, what, what does she have her own line? Was it a clothing line or what is it? She's clothing line and now jewelry line, and she just sort of and they keeps, do really well. Yeah, and she just really keeps well. spinning this stuff around, We're, and then yeah. reality show to you know, push this brand, this, I mean, she knows, she knows exactly what she's doing. And we, when we, we were flipping through the channels last night, um, cause I was, I was trying to find a game and I was like, oh shit, that's right. It's not on. Um, yeah. we, we stumbled upon MTV and saw a commercial and then all of a sudden it was for the Hills. Yes. And it was old clips and then it was faded into new clips and it was like, they're back mm -hmm. June 20 whenever the, the hills are back and I'm like but they're not what? back right not all of them well no Ca I, don't, I didn't see Cavalaria in there mm -hmm. because but she's got her own spinoff hills or was she Laguna Beach Laguna Beach ah I don't she was I don't Laguna remember. I think I don't and remember and then I didn't see Spence was Spence there Spencer, Spence and um, Heidi. Heidi. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. They were in it. Oh, they won't. They won't fucking miss an opportunity. I think. No, I think it's. Yeah, the hills of the OC, or I think it's the OC, or whatever it is. Yeah, it's ah. the hills. Okay, so all of them are back, and then Misha Barton popped up in the middle of it, and we were like, "Wait, what?" And we were joking, like she just thought it was for the OC, the show, <laughs> and kind of like popped up, and they were like, "Oh no!" But she like wouldn't leave. Kept eating crafty. Like she's very uh Jenner. Brody Jenner was back. Oh yeah, of course. Ah 
Uh, we we have some mutual friends who booked him for a lot of years. He, he you know he bounced out of the Kardashians. He was just like I'm I'm good. I don't want to do reality TV anymore. But he keep he kept popping up. I guess he's not anymore. But no. he would keep popping up. Yeah, I. It's one of those things. I think it's a love hate with him of like, all right, what else are you gonna do? What does he do? I don't know yeah. what he does. True. When we saw that Kim Kardashian uh, interview this morning and they asked her what was, what's the question she hates the most and it's what do you do? And it's, you know, it's, it's fair. I, with Kim Kardashian, she's I'll get such her, a... I'll give her that. Uh, it's such a brand now that it's, she, she's a gajillionaire. It's like, dude, she has a million businesses and... It's one of the things where if you don't know... She's an entrepreneur. You don't know. Totally. And if you know, you know. Like, yeah. of course, she's just her brand. But Brody Jenner, I genuinely don't know what he does. Sure. So the, the, it could be like hats. He can make fun hats. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like Rob Kardashian. He makes socks, I guess, but he's not on the show anymore. So I don't, I don't know what he does. I have no idea. He eats. But the funny thing is that commercial ends and I was like, man, well, I wonder what's next. Jokingly. And then MTV's The Challenge, Road Rules versus whatever. Rivalry and I'm like, Challenge. That's still yeah. a thing going on? I'm like, wh- what? Oh, yeah. But the people look like... Late 30s, early 40s. I think it's 40s. the same people from the, I mean, you'll see people pop up from like our years of real yeah, yeah, world. Yeah, like 10, and 15 years ago. Yeah. And like, you're Is like, that oh, you're keep, it's almost <laughs> like the, yeah, Puck. Man. <laughs> you know, I obviously loved Puck. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. But, um, and you have to. So you have to grow up. Yeah, you do. But it's almost like The Bachelor where it's, you know, they're in the machine. And they just, you know, that you get the call and you can either be like, yeah, I'll do it. Or no, I've got other shit going on, but you never really have other shit going on. Sure. Same with The Bachelor. Sure. And then so after that, I was like, man, what what could possibly be next here? Double shot of love is what we got junked in on last night. Sure. You want, to, you want to tell the audience what that is, or should I? Can I do I have the pleasure or not have oh, the pleasure? Oh, please. It is DJ Pauly D on the ones and twos mm-hmm. from Jersey Shore. Sure. Uh, Vinny Guigudado. Can't nope. do it. I can't do the last can't name. Can't pronounce it. Don't know Vinny it. It's Vinny. G. It's Vinny. It's Vinny. It's Vinny. It's Vinny from uh, Jersey Shore. Pale, skinny G- Vinny. Yeah. The, the, two, the two of them mm-hmm. are doing a reality dating show on MTV. It 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 kind of it kind of looked like Flavor Flav's thing where it was just like there's all these yeah. women living in a house, but it's I, it wasn't that many women. Truthfully, it was like ten or twelve. Where you're like, or hey. Rock of Love, yeah, exactly. Kind of the same sort of gals. Rock of Love is a great description. Yes, <laughs> yeah, same, yes. same gals rolling through the house that wasn't that nice. By the way, their budget was quite low. We're gonna say that. You know, <sighs> production. Qu- let's talk about it. I, I mean, I don't. So the production quality was fine. The what I have a hard time with was the girls. These girls were gutter human trash. Where I'm just like, man, I, I don't know where they found these girls. You're MTV. You can get the hottest girls on the planet for these guys. Mm-hmm. Why they put these people in there doesn't make sense to me at all. Because look. I watched The Bachelor with you because I'm a great husband, um, maybe husband of the year. We don't know yet. We don't hate every I'll, second I'll, of I'll it. I'll find I'll find out on Father's Day how great I am. But um, with The Bachelor, at least it's like 30, 35 girls or whatever it is. Most of them are attractive. You know, I would say twenty five out of thirty are attractive. Where you're like, all right, cool. In The Bachelor, yeah. I mean, all of them are attractive. Yes. None, I, there's no Jersey dogs no. in the fucking mix. Like what, they what, all have jobs. They're yeah, yeah. all. So what I don't understand is with this of like, if you're going to have this real shot at love show. or whatever, I know it's I understand. MTV. I yeah. don't know why you think MTV can, you can. do these big they productions. Can. You, you can get, you can get proper casting on MTV shows. It is simply just a casting director. That is not it at all. I think they picked, and we didn't watch it. We watched maybe five minutes of it and turned it off. Yeah. I think they picked these trashy girls on purpose, so it would be Obviously. tragic and crazy. I almost felt bad for the dudes because I was just like, oh, boy. Mm, what are you, you guys going to do? And then, we don't, again, we only watched like five minutes, but Pauly, DJ Polly D 
which I don't know how old he is now. I can't tell. Can't tell. Can't, can't tell, tell how old with he is. any of them. No, I, and but they've been on the air for fucking ten years, so they've, they've gotta be, got to be to be late thirties. Late thirties, I would guess, or, or early forties. I think the situation is forty two. Oh, there's no way to no way to find out. But a- anyways, um, I was. I was sad for them because I don't, I don't know what they're going to do now for how many episodes with these trash girls. And like, you're not, you could tell like by the looks on their faces, they were not stoked when these girls walked in and it was genuine. So that wasn't like pre-taped or anything. Yeah. No. And we were just like, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And now two of them are going after him. A girl fell into a hot tub. Oh, I mean, God. some girl was call- crawling on the floor like a cat. Yeah. Yeah, I, it, it got real weird real fast. And like the tears, there were so many tears mm. five minutes in. I just couldn't believe it. How about the bomb of Polly oh, the, D? Oof, the bombshell of Polly D. Which was just a, just brushed it off, right? Strange. Because I didn't, I, I didn't know about this. And then he sits down with this girl and he's just like, uh, well, I think it was the girl who said, do you want kids? Mm-hmm. And he's like. Well, yeah, I already got kids. Yeah. I got, and I was like, mm. huh? Mm. Sorry. Because the thing of the Jersey Shore 2 that worked, yeah. they didn't have kids. No, they were single, partying, You can drunk. be trash. You can be, right? You can be a trash human being and fuck girls and, you know, all you want on, t- on television. That's great. Right. But you, when you, well, you got a kid. Once you, you have kid, the kid is when it should it change, changes right? changes the so, dynamic of the show. And they quickly just swept that mm-hmm, under the rug. Mm-hmm. You can tell they didn't have a choice. Because right. that, that conversation is probably going to come up mm-hmm. over and over and over again. So they had to let it go. Yeah. But the thing of, you know, so they also did a family reunion. So they tried to do the Jersey Shore again. It wouldn't work because they all have kids now. Besides. No. So it, it crushed. It crushed in the no, ratings. No, I'm saying, but it wouldn't work for them to do Jersey Shore. It had to be like family reunion. Oh, yeah, and on like vacation. On and, vacation yeah. well, or married just or one kids weekend. Or, yeah. So they really yeah. just did, I think, a week or a weekend or something. And it's because we don't want to see people with kids being as trashy as they were, right? Sure. So they they drink a little bit, they blah, 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 but they're you know talking to their kids facetiming they don't just have the duck phone sort of thing whatever right so it was it's hard that i think it hit us like that when he said he had a kid because you go oh well you can't then yeah or can you i don't know if you're a guy i don't know i find it to be like oh i don't want to see you fucking getting trashed with some girl well the weird thing to me is we have a daughter when he said he had a five-year-old i was like how old is he how old is DJ Polly D? So he is, he's 38. Really? Yes. I would, I would have uh, said si- younger. Would you? I would have actually. I think now uh, thinking about it out loud, I, I probably would have said 34, 35. So Cause I think that Vinny kids like 31, right? He's 31, 31, 32. He's the he is youngest okay. one. All right. How old is the situation? Looks the oldest 36. So he's two years younger than Polly D. Remember on the show, they would always be like d- old, old ass. Yeah, 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 Mike. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, it turned out he was like two years younger than <laughs> yeah. DJ Polly D. Yeah. Fuck. I, Maybe my it's mind just like is how he acts. I guess, but no, if you look they, at the, like the situation has maybe what this much hair left on his head. Maybe that's why it's, he just uh, looks like an old man. Yeah. He looks like that a fucking, he looks like a, like he's, you know, 45, 46, that guy. And then Polly, who's seven years older than his like bestie that they smash with, yeah, go out smashing in Vegas. Yeah. Did you hear? By the way, did you hear, did you hear about the situation in prison? No. He has been in prison for I don't know six months now. At this point, I think he's got like a year or year and a half. I'm not. I'm not really sure. Mm. Got engaged this, right before. This is amazing. By the way. Mm. He's in the same jail as the guy from Firefest, Billy at Billy McFarlane. Okay. Yeah. Who defrauded all those people. Oh and they've boy. become friends in prison. Of course they have. Which is a dream come true. The weird thing is, is like, I don't think that Firefest doc was out 
before the situation went to prison. So like, did yeah. they just become bros? Did that guy befriend him and be like, Hey man. Oh yeah. We can get something going on. Yeah. That's get something going. If you're in prison for tax evasion, which is, I, I think what. It's the best place to, to meet your next fraud. Well, I think both of them are like, that's not a good mix for the situation. Like, Hey man, you should probably not be hanging out with a guy from Firefest. Just a quick heads up. Repeat offender. Yeah. I also want to know what jail it is because that seems like the one to go to. Right. That's where you can meet all the. Uh... Your peeps. <laughs> you know, if, Your you peeps. Need to, if you need to be helped out in this life. Sure, sure. sure. That's, that's kind of what that seems like. Because you always wonder like, oh, are all these celebrities in the same jail? You know? Yeah. Like when, when you actually have to go away and it's for something like that where it's like tax evasion or something. Are you, Why are they in the same? Is it New York? Why are they in the same jail? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Okay. So I, you know, it's odd, but if if the both of them are there, I'm sure they're fine. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like no. Uh, strange, strange how that works. But again, they're you know white cro- collar criminals. Yeah. It's like old Andy. Old Andy King's like, how's prison? Yeah, I love Andy. Billy. Oh, me too. He's going to get his own reality show, I know, show, I can way. not wait. I, I just, everybody's going to watch that and just wait for the moment that uh, the party gets in trouble, just like on Firefest, and he's, he's going to have so to, to go up to somebody it. and say, hey, yep, I, hey. Will, I will suck your dick for you to turn the I electricity on. I can tell you on. this because this isn't going to go anywhere. I love that that's the first thing he said. Yeah. Boom. Explodes. <laughs> biggest fucking <laughs> documentary on Netflix anyway. He's got a Instagram now. Andy does. So, oh, yeah. And he it's really recent and his followers are like insane. Yeah, it's great. I, look, he's uh, he was hilarious and awesome. I'm, I'm happy to see he came out of that on the other oh, side. Oh, yeah. I love it. And All it's right. because he embraced it. Well, yeah, he embraced but it. It, he was just it's like, also hey. important for people to embrace you. And I think people embrace that guy in particular. And we're just yeah. like, All right, cool, man. Uh, good luck with your life. I've I've said it numerous times on the show and on social media. If I'm hiring. But that's the first one I hire. Let's check out. Let's see what Andy's up to. Yeah. Oof, of course. That's the first person I hire in this world. Absolutely. Um, to do things for me. But. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> oh, eh, it is. I like, I get it. Um, I want to talk about this monkey thing, by the way. I'm going more and more off the grid these days, James. Yeah. And uh, But this this is real. Oh, I hit up the guy. I hit up the... Oh, uh, yeah. How'd that go? The MIT scientist. Mm-hmm. He, he, he wrote me back in like oh, no. two minutes. It was awesome. Great. Remember, I was like, am I famous enough to start hitting people up? And he was like, yeah. The only thing is, obviously, he's a respected scientist from sure. MIT. Sure. And he goes, uh, he goes, hey, can you send me a link to one of your shows so I can listen to it, you know, before I come on? And I was like, yeah, boy. Yeah. Here we we go. go. That'll be a no. (laughs) That's okay. That's okay. So I'm assuming it's going to be a hard no. Right. But Mm. if you hear, because he's like, look, I get a, you know, pretty crazy schedule for the next couple weeks. I was like, awesome. You know, we can just do a phone, phoner, you know, phone in interview. Say phoner? Yeah, phoner. Oh, great. Well, then you just ended it right there. We can do a phoner. lost us. uh, He was like, awesome. Send me an episode. So I sent him the the most recent one. I was just like, hope you like it. So we'll see what happens. But if he comes on the show, that means he's a cool ass dude. And it would be rad. And uh, and then we can talk about the sim world. Um, Sure. And then what are you... So here's the other thing. What are people doing with apes? Uh, Yeah, here's what people are doing with the monkeys now. And this is where shit is really getting dangerous, right? So scientists are putting human genes into monkeys to make them smarter. And so far, the ones that they've tested out, do you want to guess where they're doing this? Do you want to guess what country they're doing this? China. (laughs) Nailed it. Boom, 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 boom. Um, Yes, China. Mm. And again, man, you can't stop this shit. This is the same way I feel about like that climate change treaty. Um, not that I don't believe in climate change. I'm not a climate change denier Mm -hmm. whatsoever. I really want to put that out there. However, in that climate change treaty, India and China were in there. You're not going to stop China from doing anything in this world. Right. Um, because you just won't, they're better than us. And, and let's face it, they don't really need us when when push comes to shove. Probably a lot of them are already high functioning robots. Yeah. So 
they, they just don't need us across the board. That's why pulling out of that treaty it didn't matter to me because you, you can't, st- they're not going to follow any rules and regulations. Mm-mm. And this shit, I don't even know what you would classify this as rules and regulations. Why? Why is you're, you're putting a human genes inside of monkeys to make them smarter. There's why a, though? There's a fear of like planet of the apes. Um, why are that they type doing of this? thing for tests? So they're claiming, again, I'm going to really air quote the word claiming because I, what else are you going to say here at this point? You know, because it, there's a million uses you could really think of. Like you could put these motherfuckers in war if you wanted to ship a bunch of monkeys over here to rip people's faces off. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh God. They're stronger than a human. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, we've seen those orangutans rip people's faces off. Throw a chimpanzee over here. Just imagine just air dropping like, you know. 30,000 of those things in LA. Mm. Congratulations. Like California. You know, it's the closest sure. state to them. Like, boom. And then, and then just you know, let them go. Let them go and see what happens. No. That would be pure chaos, James. Oh chaos. Can you imagine? Can yeah, you imagine? I can. So these, the, here's what they're claiming why. They're saying they're doing it um, uh, to, to make them kind of test their memories to see if they'll get smarter, uh, to see if they have superior memories uh-huh. um, than other monkeys. And, you know, you, you know what the answer is to that question. Yeah. Yeah, it's yes, yes. Because yeah. we evolved from apes. Sure. Let's face it, if you're going to put our human genes inside of a monkey, it's just going to be a monkey who's like a fucking human at that point. Oh, God. Yeah. How creepy is that? They were the other ones who like did the it. CRISPR babies. They were the first China. Mm-hmm. China was the other ones. We did the CRISPR babies. We mm-hmm. did, we did that show. Mm-hmm. What's to stop this? What do you do? What do you do? You can't say anything because you don't, you know, you don't know what the results are, what they're testing it. And how do you tell countries to stop testing shit like this? Cause there is no like worldwide rule for it. You know, we have these nuke treaties and things like that for nuclear weapons, but we don't have anything in place to, hey, let's not make a monkey well, a human. Well, the guy got arrested, the CRISPR guy. He did for coming out. Well, um, then how do we find out about this? I mean. This, this was leaked. Okay. So th- 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 that other guy came out and said, all right, I did it. Um, okay. Actually, there is a geneticist that's actually in this. Um Oh, no, no, no. This is not from China. This is here. He's calling it reckless. He's saying the use of transgenic monkeys to study human genes linked to brain evolution is very risky road to take. It's a classic slippery slope issue. That's a weird phrase. And one that we can expect to recur as this type of research is pursued. And I agree with that because, again, if you're making your own babies, right? You're making your own CRISPR babies and now you're going to make your own fucking monkeys. Yeah. Look, Barbara, who is it, Barbara Streisand that's cloning her dogs all these mm-hmm. years? We're getting there. We're getting there. They were just showing on the Today Show that it's like a thing that you can do now. The dog cloning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's, that's like a, a recognized thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because she was doing it in secret. Where, right. You know, I was like, hey, are we so, doing this? Yeah. So did Beyonce and Jay-Z with their CRISPR babies and... And all kinds of things. So, well, let me ask you this because I, I saw that you know we were watching that Kim Kardashian thing. She's she's having her fourth kid, I guess, but mm-hmm. two of them are via surrogate, right? Mm-hmm. But the kids look like them. Are they combining Kanye's genes and her genes, it's and then that basically, goes? It's basically you're, like you're just renting a body out at yes. that point. Fuck. So it's your it's your embryo, sperm, everything. It's just that your body is not going to be going Delivering through it. all of it, oh, but it boy. is absolutely yours and has no dna from well, the host the, yeah the <laughs> um and it is crips it is also crisper i know well, they probably went in there and yeah, tweaked yeah. a couple things because their kids are gorgeous by the way yeah and you know kim kardashian is and kanye is a good looking guy but um not like that Kanye's not that good looking you know, he's not, and she, she is, she is without all the plastic surgery is not like, eh, I'll, I'll, uh, well, maybe I'll defer to the rest of that family. You know? Yeah. 
No, I mean, I mean, genetically, Chris they, Jenner's doing all right. They all, yeah. They She's got to be what sixty something. The she still looks pretty jackpot good. Yeah. genetically, yeah. Which is weird because you, if you look at the dad, I know that little guy, huh? Who knew he was pumping out superhumans? Crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like, hmm. huh? Um, it, it's like the Jenner kids. You know, with Chris and Bruce, it's yeah. like, oh, I get it, right? Yeah, yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Kylie, not so much, but um, she yeah. worked it out. Listen, she worked it all out. I, I, think, I, I think uh, Kylie's fine. I think the other one's fine. She worked it all out. Yeah. Because well, it was not going to yeah. be a good road sure. if she didn't um, figure that out. A lot of injections at that age, though. Injections, plastic surgery, mm. fillers, um, all of it. She did all of it. Man. Yeah. Oh. And then the other one didn't have to do shit. So it's kind of like. So maybe maybe now after all of this, talking it out loud, I maybe I'm on the fence about this with the injecting shit into monkeys. If we're if we're already just using humans bodies to for our own purposes of, of babies and just renting out a, a host. Mm-hmm. Eh, what's the fucking difference anymore? Let's make a monkey who can rip somebody's face off. Yeah, or, and then yeah. What if you get what if you get down to like what they're doing over there? Like, it, like maybe it's for something else. Maybe they want to sell these monkeys so you can just talk to them. What if you had a pet monkey that you could just sit and chill with and talk to? No, thanks. But that's a, no, thank you. Isn't that the next step of mm-hmm. if you think about it? Isn't that the next step in our society of? All right, people love their pets, right? They're getting so them, much, but they're getting them cloned. Yeah. If you ever see human dog. Yeah. yeah. If you ever see women talking to their dogs. Um, and I do. You do. You could tell in their eyes that all they really want is the dog just to talk back and say, I love you. Thank you for all of this. Sure. Imagine now if you could get a monkey who could just talk and be your best friend. Because the way you're going with social media and all this other shit, right? Everybody, nobody calls each other. Everybody's using social media. You're kind of getting more and more isolated behind screens or whatever it is, right? You're going to need some interaction with anyone to talk to, whether it be a robot or something else. Now, if I had my choice between that chick robot, you know, that you see on all those things. Yeah. Yeah. The bald one Mm -hmm. who's in uh, Silicon Valley and all that other Mm -hmm. stuff or my own talking monkey. I think I'd roll out with a monkey because at least the monkey, I could go out and hold his hand and like, you know, we could go do shit. Where it's just like, hey, let's let's play baseball, or well, you remember those Clint Eastwood movies where the monkey was just punching people in the face? Like, you know, you just have a monkey who's a buddy who's just chilling with you. Sure. And now you'd be able to talk to it and be like, hey, man, mm-hmm. let's go, let's go watch this Lakers game. You know, let's go watch this. <laughs> you have to think that's next, right? <laughs> Am I that far off? No, that that's next. But I can't believe that you're like, yeah, I would do it. Well, yeah. if, if it was available. So, so let's say you this don't becomes, have time, dude. You don't have time to hang out with your monkey friend. Not now. If you're out fucking with the monkey friend playing catch, <laughs> you, divorce because we don't have a lot of time. You don't have time for your real friends. Your friends, can you imagine they see you out in the back with your monkey? Got time for the monkey, huh? No, it's a no. It's a no from us, and I just don't, you know, I don't know what they're fucking, the here's, Asians are doing over there. Maybe they're trying to make a bunch of Uber drivers here's, because here's, they can't fucking handle it over there. I don't I, know. Here's, what, here's all I'm saying, James, right? If I was a, a single person, millennial, you know. Which I am. Yeah. I, we learned that last <laughs> night, by the way. No, I told you. I've been telling you. You have? I didn't on, believe it. And then I saw, saw it on television. And where they said like, the exact same thing as me. Yeah. No, I looked it up. It's 82 and old. Like. <laughs> Millennials start at 1982. If you're born 1982 mm-hmm. or after, you're a millennial, right? Mm-hmm. So, so. Anyway. If you're so a millennial. If you were a millennial. Single. Lonely, single. Lonely. Yeah. It's like, look, you're, you're right. I have wife, kids, all that other stuff. I was single and lonely. Like I get, I get bros who probably just want a monkey to chill out with and talk to, and just have some. That's form why they of call you. Oh my god! Ah, stop nailed it. it. Better end there. Knife hand. Um, that's that's what I would do. I, I would probably go out of my way to find that talking monkey just to chill out with for a little bit. I would, Jabes. Okay. Cool. You well, know, frisbee. 
There's a lot of things that we don't have in common, and we just found another one. Imagine she's playing pickup basketball with him, man. He could dunk, dunk on people. It'd be great. Yeah, just me and my monk. Just dragging like... <laughs> Oh. oh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? I could talk about this talking monkeys forever. I really could, uh, James. Uh, Man, this, the possibilities uh, are endless. I was down on that story, and then I went hard up. You know, there'll be a black mirror. Oh, about yeah. It, oh, yeah. I'm sure there which will. Which I love. There has to be. Uh, revolutionary figure of the day goes out to Beverly Cleary. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, she was trending on... on uh, Twitter, right? Okay. And I was like, oh, what is what this? What happened to Beverly? What's you this were so about? scared. She created all the Ramona Quimby books and all that other stuff. Like, you know, as a kid, that's kind of what you, you had. At least we did. You know, mm-hmm. like we had Encyclopedia Brown and Ramona Quimby and all that other shit. Like okay. I was always out at like the book fairs and everything. I don't know what's going to happen with our children if they're going to have that. We had it. You, you had it in your libraries, right? Yeah. Rem- yeah. What? Like, like a book fair. Yes. And like, yes, hey, rent out a yes, book and yes, all this other stuff. Yes. Those were our options. And so when I saw her trending, I was like, oh, shit, did she she die? And then part of me was like, man, I think she died a long time ago. Turns out she's still alive. So that's why she was trending? Because yes. She's, she's 103 years super old. Super old. Okay. 103, you. Javes. Good you have no you. desire for that, obviously. But man, no, 103. Oh, God. The interesting thing, too, is I, because I, I dug a little deeper on it, I was like, man, what has she been doing? She stopped writing. She retired from writing a long time ago. Um, but I was always curious, for, like, from a writer's standpoint, if you lived to be that old, would you keep writing or not? Yeah. I think the answer is no. It's just too hard. Keep writing? I think so. I think, I think, I think it would be really hard, you know? Um, I look. I don't know what your mind is like. Or, I'm sure she's not writing, but yeah. She no, she's not. Yeah, no. She is. She's not. She's retired. But that's what I, you know, digging into that story a little more. I was what I was fascinated about. I was like, man, I wonder if I would, if I was alive at that age, would I still be writing? Because let's, I am not going to be alive at that age. But no, 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 no. Um, if I, would I still it. be writing? And I was like, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know no. what your mind is like or whatever. Either way, I'm glad she's still alive. Yes. And she's 103 years old today, which is absolutely amazing. Good for you. Yeah. Beverly Cleary. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty rad. That is awesome. I mean, it's, you know, not as awesome as a talking monkey sure. that I want to chill out with. But, uh-huh. 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 Um, uh-huh. I, what do you what do you think? What's your over under before they start? They start uh, selling those things to us. Well, 10 years. Sure. Sure. I th- I'm 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 gonna go. F- I'll say 15. I'll take the over. I think it's gonna be 15. Okay. For you can pick up that monkey and they can ship it over. You uh-huh. know, from China. Yeah. Getting stoked about it. I'm already thinking about Getting it. Getting stoked about it. <laughs> you know I don't give a shit about that kind of stuff until it shows up at my doorstep. Other than that, I don't fucking care what they're. Well, doing. you're gonna care. You're gonna give a shit when that monkey does show up at your doorstep. So. Just give you that. You're going to care just too when you're that single. Piece of advice. Single, uh, hanging with your monkey. I'll have my monk. I'll have my monk with me, you know? Uh, air, air monk. <laughs> For Jesse Wiseman, aka the Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is the revolution. Maybe a monkey could be He's doing my outros for me too. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah. Awesome.